does absolutely serve as uh, a rebellious uh, moment, uh, not unlike Rockabilly, and it also starts to churn uh, within um, rock and roll, particularly that kind of rock and roll that has a narrative that's close to what uh, can be justifiably perceived as folk. Yes? I read in a couple of places that Patti Smith's album, Horses, had something to do with the beginnings of punk. You know, this is a very interesting point. That was Lenny Kay. Um, that said that? No, he was in that band. Oh. The Patti Smith group. It was originally television. And um, Horses, again, 1975, has to do with the uh, codification of punk. It existed prior to it. The brilliance of Horses and that was a John Cale production, and it involved literally, literally the band uh, called Television, which was extant, functional, and doing dramatic uh, punk rock, bringing in someone who called herself a poet and who combined uh, what is closer to poetry than any lyrics that had come before it, um, uh, almost literally so, and the uh, presentations that led to the album Horses had all to do with a poet reading with a bunch of musicians who were, that would be the band television, who were uh, out to create uh, a, a kind of music that Lenny Kay had previously as a critic written about. So you're absolutely right in terms of it uh, being a cultural marker for punk. Absolutely correct, yeah. But it existed before that, right? <laughs>